Rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back, and everyone. Here is a look at Longview with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monster Law Firm. We are seeing overcast skies right now. A bit breezy, still winds at 7 miles per hour with a temperature of 38. So it is a chilly start to our day today, but temperatures actually pretty close to average for the time of year for morning lows. We even have some 40s down into deep east Texas that extends southward to the Houston area, 30s off to our west, and then 20s as you head towards the Texas panhandle. As we head throughout our day today, we are going to see a lot of clouds out there, so the rain may be gone, the heavy rain may be gone, but the clouds will be the last thing to leave for us, and they will be with us as we head throughout the day today. The breeze will also be there at 15 miles per hour this morning, and then 10 to 15 miles per hour heading into the afternoon. So winds will gradually slow down as we head throughout the day today, and then tonight we'll uh, see those temperatures drop well down below freezing. But let's take a look at the rainfall totals that we've seen from uh, yesterday's event here. Mount Pleasant and Sulphur Springs picking up some of the, the lesser amounts here, just over an inch still, though. Uh, Northwest Smith County picking up about one and eight tenths of an inch. Uh, East Texas Regional Airport picking up nearly an inch and a half. Uh, Emerald Bay and Cumberland Ridge picking up about an inch and six tenths of an inch. Frankston picking up just over an inch and a half. Jacksonville uh, just over an inch as well. Natchez almost an inch and a half. Palestine an inch and three quarters. Tennessee Colony about an inch and four tenths. Nacogdoches, one of the big winners yesterday, picking up. Up 2.33 inches of rain, and but Lufkin, uh, though at least north of town, picking up about 3.5 inches. So some very heavy rain uh, certainly fell yesterday. Priscilla picking up nearly an inch and a half, and overall that adds on to our rainfall totals for the month of January. We are now running a surplus of rain in Longview and especially in Lufkin, which should not be lost here. We have only a few more days of January, but a lot of that those days would have rain chances, namely Saturday, Sunday, and then. Uh, Monday and Tuesday as well, and then Wednesday we go into February. Tyler, we still need some more rain, and we will get some more rain chances like I just mentioned. Taking a look at your seven-day forecast now, we are going to see uh, a freeze for us tomorrow morning and Friday morning as well, but the temperatures will be rebounding nicely in the afternoon. 50s for highs on Thursday, 60s for highs on Friday. We will see the rain return again as we head into the weekend with highs in the 60s and then cooler with rain chances for next week. And then for Deep East Texas, it is more of the same. Look for the rain chances to return by Saturday. We'll always enjoy the chance for rain. Yes, still needed. We got a lot yesterday, many places uh, picking up over an inch. But we could always use more. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I really enjoyed it though, too, because you got to curl <laughs> up with a nice blanket, a nice book, and pretend to read it while watching Netflix. Oh, yeah. yeah. This morning crew definitely got some naps <laughs> yeah. in yesterday. Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right, Andrew, thank you.